Jaya, the topic for this video is ego, individual identity. Um, when you start looking at uh, spiritual training, spiritual evolution, your own uh, process of awakening, very often you will hear the word ego mentioned, right? So what is it? <laughs> you know, very often there is a very negative connotation about the word ego. People go like, yeah, it's just your ego speaking. You have to destroy your ego. You have to dissolve your ego. Your ego is bad. And um, in my experience, that's not the way I perceive it. If you feel that this is the way you perceive it, you know, that ego is a bad thing and you have to destroy it, that's fine. Okay, again, from my perspective, what I call ego is just my individual identity. It's identifying myself with my name, with the things that I own, with my house and so on. So. For me, it is a vehicle. It's the worldly vehicle. It's the vehicle of my personality. I have my egoic identity or my individual identity, which is my name and the things I've been doing, my past, where I was born, all that stuff. That's what I call my ego. And then there is my universal identity, my identity as a divine being, you know, as a spiritual being. Okay? So the egoic identity itself, it's something that I'm using all the time. You know, I'm having fun, I'm taking care of my body, I'm eating certain foods, I'm relating to people, I'm having, a, 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 you know, active connections with people, I'm traveling the world, I'm getting excited. All that is still within the field of the ego. So for me, the, the, the ego has different shades and colors and some of it is beautiful and some of it is really ugly, some of it is in the shadows, you know. So the idea of destroying the ego, for me, um, the way I perceive it, it's a little bit like an illusion. It's more like a transmutation of the shadow aspects in the ego that no longer serve you. For instance, if you have toxicity in your field and that, that toxicity is not serving you, then uh, yeah, just purify, do, take, do some meditation, do some energy release techniques so that this shadows or this toxicity in the ego can be transmuted and released, for instance. So when people, you know, blame you, for instance, they go, yeah, this is just your, you know, for instance, it's your ego speaking, you know, they have a point. What they are saying is that there is an aspect in your personality that is immature because right now you are being arrogant, for instance, or you are uh, being abusive or you are being aggressive. You know, so when they, when they point to that, what they are saying is, this is the part of your personality that could be transmuted and could be evolving because it has a certain degree of immaturity. So there is a point, you know, when they say it's your ego speaking, what they identify, it's an aspect of your being that could be evolving. But in my experience, that's not everything that the ego is. There is an aspect of shadows again, there is an aspect of toxicity, there is an aspect of immaturity, but then the, the, who is experiencing a light? Who is experiencing that? Who is experiencing joy and pleasure and beautiful tastes and sensations and having fun on this planet? It's, it's still my ego. I, I mean, that's the way I look at it. So if it's not the ego, find another name, you know, maybe the, the, the light body or something, you know, but for me, that's, that's still my personality. It's my personality is really enjoying recording this video right now. I'm having emotions. I'm having an overflow of, of inspiration coming through me. That's, that's still my ego communicating. It's not all there is. My spirit is right there. Yes, I'm channeling a certain, a certain inspiration or a certain frequency. Yes, yes, as well, but everything is interconnected and my ego <laughs> my ego is right here in front of you. The person that you see, you know, with the necklaces and the bandana and the colors, all that is, is something that is giving my ego a certain flavor. So I'm not sure how you feel about what I'm saying right now. Is this something that you recognize or not? How do you define your, your ego? Do you feel like your ego is a good thing? Is it something that you want to destroy, annihilate? Do you embrace it? Do you go like, I love my ego. My ego is great. So, you know, it's something that you can look at. In my experience over years and years of, you know, meditation and spiritual exploration, what I feel is that, um, I'm not an obstruction to my destiny line. It means that somehow the shadow aspects are a little bit out of the way. It, means, it doesn't mean that I don't have any shadows in my field, but it means that 
the, the things that would have been an obstruction, the attachments to certain things that don't make sense, have been kind of dissolved and now I'm in a place where it feels like my channels or my pipes are relatively clean, okay? They are cleaner than where they were when I was 20 years old. There is a, a clear alignment and so my egoic vehicle seems to be plugged in with um, the right values or the right mindsets to allow me to perform or do what I'm supposed to be doing in, on this planet. But the ego is still there, you know, sometimes I go to battle, sometimes I get angry, sometimes I get really happy. So all this overflow of emotions and things are, is, is still there, is still present. So yay to the ego. I love my ego personally. Do you love your ego? Do you want again your, your ego to, to be transformed, transmuted, how do you respond to that word? Is this something that resonates positively in your system or is this something that you would rather no longer have? Do you have the impression that sometimes your ego really dissolved? Like you enter into this state of bliss where you no longer feel your personal identity? which is a beautiful experience. I, I, I have experienced states like that as well, where suddenly I don't feel myself anymore. <laughs> it's just like being in bliss, in ecstasy, in mystical trance. So that can happen as well. Tell me about your feelings. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful exploration. I love you. <laughs>